how you guys doing this is my partner repellent lathering it on first so that i give my lips some juicy stuff good stuff this is my homemade lip balm please do purchase dm me <laughs> also now i'm going to start the look with some nika k birthday palette this is a light blue shade that i picked up on my crease nicely blending it out and then i am going to go in with my you know other shade that is a darker blue shade on my lid the brush didn't work so i went in with my finger you know fingers and hands are the best it just does the best work ever you don't need brushes trust me <laughs> but um yeah i'm also lazy to wash a million brushes so i just do half the shit with my hand oops um my language i will watch it okay this uh, tutorial is going to have some extensive products because it took me a lot to achieve it so this is an inglot palette and i'm using a dark blue shade on the outer corner of the eye to give it some dimension if you may and then i'm going in with a lighter blue shade on the inner corner of the eye to open up my eyes and the next eye now oh my god i am going to use the nika case birthday palette again on the next eye and take a red eye shadow and put it on my crease and really really blend it out okay and then this is blood sugar palette from jeffrey star i'm using a metallic red shade on my lid and then i'm going to go in with a darker red shade on my outer okay now i'm doing my inner corner <laughs> with light pink shade to open up my eyes and a dark purple shade on the outer corners of the eyes to give it some dimension extensive eye looks i should be done first so that you can clean up the lower part of your eye and you know do the base neatly so i'm cleaning that up and doing my base this is my base foundation that is k beauty I will mention the shade and everything down below. I really like this hydrating foundation. I have dry skin and it makes my skin look look a little juicy if you may. Doesn't dry my skin out completely. It looks very skin like. So I really like the foundation and I generally use my hands because I like less coverage. And for concealer I'm going in with the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal on my lower eyes and again blending it with my fingers because i'm a lazy person and i don't like washing thousand brushes people who wash brushes understand my pain <laughs> now i'm going to set my foundation that is my base and concealer with some loose powder that is maybelline fit me loose powder i love the loose powder and maybelline's brush again i couldn't do this without the brush so <laughs> i had to use one Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows very less not too much with the lighter brown shade in the palette this is the Wet and Wild eyebrow palette our drugstore um you know stuff is so underrated i tell you it is incredible the kind of pigmentation and the kind of stuff that's available in the market now for very less price you don't need a lot of money to like look expensive these days so this is something incredible i came across this is insights eyebrow mascara i love it it holds my brows amazingly well and uh, it's very cheap again <laughs> so uh, if you like feathered out so brows look like me then this is the product that you should be using so the link is down below again you can click on it and purchase it my mascara right now is my glam's manish malhotra mascara and i generally tend to make mistakes with my mascara so i'm waiting for it to dry up and i can clean it up now i'm contouring my face with another incredible product did you know this is just 90 rupees this is dazzler contour powder i bought it off of amazon again the link is down below it is so pigmented and so good i love contouring and this was so cool like look at the way it looks it looks like a dream I just love it. 
I am so into powder contours and I use two three shades generally to get to this. But this shade, I tell you, it chiseled me out so well. I just love it. Totally recommended. For 90 bucks, it's a bomb. <laughs> Now I did the lower lash line. I took some mascara, did lower lash mascara, and took some red and smoked out the bottom lash line also. And a shiny silver shade from my Inglot palette. I used it as a highlighter on the high points of my face because I just wanted to glow a little extra and wanted it to be very, you know, beaming. <laughs> So I just went with the silver highlight. It looks really nice. I love it. And I also highlighted under the brow bone. I mean, it is my brow bone under the brow. Yeah. Look at the difference it makes. It looks like I'm from some outer galaxy or something like that. I really love highlighter. I love glowing. <laughs> Now I'm using two lipsticks for this. I'm taking off some lip balm that was there. And this is L'Oreal's Color Riche lipstick in the shade Rich Merlot in 250, number 250. And again, Bellora's lipstick in the shade Ruby Crush, number 10. On top of that, to get a gradient of maroon with a red pop. And then I am done, looking stunning. And. What is this? This is my perfume. It is Misty Charm for your multifaceted personality like mine. This is fresh, aquatic, and citrus. It has rose, lotus, lily, with a hint of citrus oil. Thank you for watching. DM to order.